We welcome the newest Philadelphia Eagle linebacker, LJ Fort, to the NovaCare Complex to the studio. Hi, everyone. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro. Congratulations and welcome. And, Appreciate you know, it. your story, LJ, is a remarkable story. First, how does it feel to be wanted in free agency as much as the Eagles wanted um, you? It feels unbelievable. It's been a long time coming, that's for sure. Um, going on my eighth year, um, being a free agent and then having uh, multiple teams want me was a... Uh, uh, Definitely a satisfying feeling, and I'm glad I ended up here. This is an amazing statistic. Okay, so first game you ever played, 2012 against the Eagles. You intercept yeah. Michael Vick. You're playing for the Cleveland Browns. Between that time and week four of the 2018 season, you had only played 12 games yeah. with more than one snap on defense. And then from in 2018, 305 snaps over 12 games. So yeah. a long period of time, not a lot of you know, playing time on the field. What has given you success? What do you think the keys to your success have been? I think just being, um, having a chip on my shoulder, I would say, uh, being an underdog for so long and having to grind, um, being angry, I guess, uh, for the most part, um, just being on special teams and not getting a chance to play too much. Um, this last year was a real blessing, those couple games I got to play and got to show what I was capable of. What's the lesson for, for people who... You know, they, they get turned away and they, they meet with, I guess, a rejection, if you will. Yeah. What's the lesson for people out there? I'll say uh, you got you to gotta assess the situation when, when you get knocked down like that and be realistic with yourself. And, um, and then at the same time, you have to believe in yourself. Like if you know what you're capable of, capable, capable of then you have to just push through that and, and, and make it happen and don't worry about what other people say. What happened in Pittsburgh last year to kind of the breakthrough moment? What, do, you, do you feel like that was the turning point for you in your career? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, that was the first time I've uh, really started a game since that, that first game of my career um, because of Chargers. And I, I felt like uh, I kind of made a statement that game and um, coaches definitely trusted me a lot more after that, and I was able to increase my playing time. LJ, what what does what works on the football field for you? What why are you productive? Where were we productive last year? I feel like my range, um, being able to run sideline to sideline, run plays down. Um, when you can get to the ball quickly, you're going to make a lot of plays regardless. And I feel like that's probably my biggest asset. What was your feeling going into free agency? I'd read up on you and kind of said, hey, this could be your chance to really get the league to take a lot of notice. Is that? Kind of the way you saw free agency? Oh, for sure. I mean, um, I, I, my, my special teams play really picked up this past year, too, so I feel like that had a big part of it. Um, the team's not only getting a, a capable linebacker, but a good special teams player, too. Why'd you pick Philly? Um, to be honest, uh, just all the, the richness in, in history here. Um, Brian Dawkins, a, a lot of it. Um, and it, it, just, it just was a fit for me. Do you have a sense of the defense here, what Jim likes his linebackers to do? You really get into football time, I know, down the line here, but do you have a feeling what it's like going to be like here on defense? Um, yeah, I met, I met with Coach Flager for a little bit, and um, it was good. Good. Uh, we got an X's and O's, and he got me all riled up and excited about the um, defense, so um, ready to go. All right, so Pittsburgh to Philadelphia, the land of Rocky, the land of Invincible. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. Can we play a few questions, a little game? For sure. Five questions with LJ Fort. All right, let's begin. In the movie Rocky, the girlfriend of Rocky Balboa. What was her name? Adrian. Nicely it, right? <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, I got it. Okay, in the movie Rocky, when he goes into, uh, their TV cameras are there and he's beating up, yeah. what, what, is he, what is he punching? Meat. Okay, that's two. Is that right? That is correct. All right, cool. All right, in the movie Invincible, yeah. do you know the player, the Philadelphia Eagle, who that who was the the actual name of the Philadelphia Eagle player? Uh, the movie was based upon Mark Wahlberg. No, he was the actor. No, nope, that's him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know the name of the player? No. Oh, you'll meet him. His name is Vince Papali. Okay, cool. Okay, so the next question was name the actor who played yeah. Vince Papali. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Yep. All right, and then um, in that movie. He makes a play, an invincible movie. He makes uh -huh. a play that kind of like sets, sets it apart. Do you remember what the actual play was? Uh, was it a, it was a fumble recovery, huh? Yeah, it was a, it was a block punt. Yeah, fumble. picked okay. it up. And okay, and then return it for a touchdown. Got it. And then finally, finally, back to Rocky. Yeah. Rocky, the, the iconic scene of Rocky running up the steps uh -huh. of the... Um, Philadelphia Monument. In Philadelphia Art Stairs. Museum of Art. Yep, okay. Museum of Art. Right. Got it. 
Me, me, I, I, I believe this, LJ. I believe that you will be running up those stairs at some point. Here's, oh, got the career is going to go forward. You're going to get a lot of playing time. A lot of time. Is it, is it a cool feeling being in Philadelphia, like walking around and just kind of getting a sense of a new place? Like I said, it's awesome. Um, like I said, just the richness of, of, of the whole city. The, like, I've been wanting to get out of here so long just to uh, check out the history of the city. So it's, it's cool I'm here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here. It was Cleveland. It was Cincinnati. It was New England briefly. Yep. Seattle and Pittsburgh for you, correct? And Denver. And Denver, that's yeah. right. You've seen a lot, and, and not only as a linebacker, but as a fullback you've played <laughs> in the net. It's all about wild. survival, isn't it, in this league? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, the more you can do. They say tough times don't last, but tough people do. Exactly. And you've lasted. LJ Ford, welcome to Philadelphia. Appreciate it. And thanks for joining us. Thank you.